Hi guys, in this video I am going to discuss about timer control in series of windows application. So I have we need to two level and here after two button and one timer control. So for timer control we need to go this point and here timer. So this is one button and here yeah this is level 2 and here and here after go to button 1 and here yes our text property change so at here find to start and here write to stop and here after I'll click on a start button and you write timer one dot start and go to design here double click here write timer one dot stop one for restart and second for stop now here after click on timer control and here yeah, let's write code so at your yeah, use level one here yeah, take equal to date time date time dot now dot day so for here so at here first is or day and second is for month here year so here I am going to use iPhone and next is right date can now dot month plus here can continue it here yeah. again date time dot now dot year so add here yeah. or day month year yeah. So that can uh, can catenate and then go to the text into the level and here after write level two dot text equal to date time now here yeah. to long date too long time string. So about this one convert the values of the current time object to its equivalent long time so string per representation. So it's a re string representation and here after we need to column and here after date time now dot millisecond so this is a code so this thing that go to level 1 and this thing that go to level 2 execute and check so add here this is level 1 level 2 if I click on a start so see or oh, this is a display current or uh, uh, day, uh, day, month, year 17 for 2018 and here yeah, this is the time here yeah, or uh, 6 and here yeah, 2 minute here yeah, 59 second 
and here this is a uh, displaying in millisecond. If I click on a star, so this is a star. If I click on a start, so again that is start. If I click on a star, so this is the things inside the timer control. So we can start the time, this time, and we can stop the answer. So this is one example of a timer control in csr.net Windows application. So you need only two lever, two button, and change the button at your name, and here click on timer, and try some simplest code at here. So this is for day, month, year, and this I am concatenating date time now. So whatever now or day, so that uh, display. And here this or uh, date time now in millisecond, millisecond or date time. So that uh, can concatenate with colon. And here this is for time. So six at here six four and millisecond. Let's go to level 2. So I hope guys you understand about timer control in csr.net Windows application. So if you have any questions related to this, leave a comment. Definitely I will reply. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.